Hello YouTube, Ian559 Fresno here and today I'm going to teach you how to downgrade your iPhone 3G um, from version 4.2.1, 4.1, 4. whatever. And do you notice your phone got slow after you updated and you want to go back to 3.1.3? No SHSH required. Also, if iTunes is giving you error message 1015, you can skip all that fix uh, method and downgrade to 3.1.3 just like this video pretend instead like I know your iPhone's probably showing a USB cable and iTunes screen pretend my iPhone is doing that too just follow along it'll fix that alright so as you can tell my iPhone is on 4.2.1 I'll even uh, show you settings general about just one second okay 4.2.1 See, my home button is messed up on this phone. I just bought it just to make this video. Um, but we can still use it, no problem. Alright, so you're going to need two files. One is called Tiny Umbrella. Currently, uh, as I'm making it, the date is 5-14-2011. Tiny Umbrella version 4.33.00 is the newest version out. So I'm going to be using that. And I'm also going to be, you're going to need the iPhone 3G 3.1.2, 3.1.3, whatever version you want to downgrade it to. I think you can downgrade it, I think it's like up to 3.1.2, just to be safe, like that's what I've done it up to. You don't want to go too low because some apps won't work if you downgrade like 2.0, if that's possible. Um, but 3.1.2, 3.1.3, they're all good. Uh, the links will be in the description. Alright, so once that's done, have your iPhone plugged into your computer uh, via USB. Close iTunes. Uh, if it's open, no problem, but uh, I'd recommend closing it. Alright, go to Tiny Umbrella and open it. If you do not have Java installed, it'll tell you, like, it'll give you an error right here. Uh, if that's the case, then you're just going to have to download Java, Google search Java, and install it, and then come back to this video. Alright, so you're going to go right here where it says Connected Devices, click, and then go to uh, Start TSS Server right here. And if you had iTunes open before you click that, you'll probably notice that iTunes exited. No problem, you're just going to have to reopen it, which I'm doing right now. Alright, your iPhone is probably showing up right now in uh, your iTunes. Just click on it right here. And then right here you're going to go to your keyboard, find the shift key. You're going to have to hold that down, not just press it hold it down and then you're gonna go right here where it says restore and click as you are holding down the shift key and a little window will pop up uh, it might not work if your phone is restoring if that's the case I mean if it's syncing just hit cancel see um, if you get that no you do not want to do that Cancel. Okay, go back and just hold the shift key. Like me. Shift key. And then click restore. And this little dialog will pop up. Now you're going to look for your uh, 3.1.2 firmware file you downloaded. Links will all be in the description once again. It should look something like this iPhone 1,2 and then it should say the version 3.1.2, 3.1.3 blah 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 restore 1,2 means it's a 3G firmware here it says 2,1 you downloaded the wrong firmware that you downloaded the 3GS firmware you want 1,2 because you're restoring a 3G alright just click on it and then click open just say extracting software <clears throat> Make sure Tiny Umbrella is um, running at this time. It should be. Because uh, I never said exit it, so if you're following along, you should be good. 
All right, you see extracting software, just leave it alone, um, don't mess with it. Here, I'll put the iPhone right here so you guys can see. And up here, preparing iPhone for restore, Apple logo will pop up. You should see that, oh, error 1015, whatever, no problem. Leave it alone. Preparing iPhone for restore. Just leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Just leave it alone. Better to be safe than sorry. And just let it run, see restoring iPhone software, you know, just like you were restoring your phone. And just like you know when you're normally restoring, that bar will pop up. You don't want to touch your iPhone too much. Uh, especially if you have one of those messed up USB cables right here, you don't want it to like, you know, exit out on you. That wouldn't be a good thing. let it restore see restoring iPhone software it might have a little difference from here to there don't worry Just leave your iPhone, I'm sure you saw it like exit, now it's going to go back. Oh, uh, don't worry, now it's going to try to update the baseband, you're going to get error 1015. 
I'm sure you remember you got Air 1015. You might have if you had an unlocked iPhone on the iPad basement. Um, if you didn't unlock your iPhone, just ignore this. This is only for people who are watching this video and originally had Air 1015 as they updated their iPhone. Anyways, I'm sure you remember getting Air 1015 at the end of the restore. Um, that just means that iTunes couldn't update the baseband. Uh, basically, that's the easy way of knowing what it means. And you're going to get that again. See, as you can tell, we were downgrading the phone, which means it had a lower baseband. And so it can't update it. And it's going to give you error 1015. Um, when you were updating it, you're like, oh, why did I get that? I was updating it. Well, it's because you had the iPad baseband, which was also a higher sequence. And the iPad baseband was higher than the highest iPhone version baseband. So it could never update. And that's why you got 1015. So now you're going to get 1015 again, but on a lower version. So you're going to notice the iTunes screen. All of you guys who are watching this video, regardless of whether you unlocked or not, are going to notice that the iTunes screen is going to look a little different from the beginning if you were on 4.2.1 and you downgraded. Um, and with the n older iTunes version, it's going to look like a CD with the music note. You can use Fix Recovery. I'm sorry. You can use Tiny Umbrella. It's much easier to use and you can use it. So don't panic, you are going to get error 1015, no problem. That's going to take like 5-10 seconds to fix, really. See, it says restoring iPhone firmware on the top. See, you don't see any more status over here. We have that much. You're gonna prepare to get error 1015, like right here. Oh, there it is. The iPhone, iPhone, or it might say like Max's iPhone, Ian's iPhone, whatever your name is, whatever you named it, um, could not be restored. Sorry, that was my elbow. Uh, an unknown error 1015. Just click OK. <clears throat> Sorry, just click OK. And you'll see this. iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. Just click OK. And you're going to exit iTunes. We don't need it anymore. Let's see if this was the screen I was talking about. See, you probably notice this is different from when you were restoring it or if you're stuck on uh, recovery mode. With this iTunes screen, it's older and you can use Tiny Umbrella. Oh, right here you're going to click Stop. TSS server and you're gonna go to recovery devices right here click on it and then go over here and click exit recovery and your iPhone will power off and power back on leave it plugged in running out of time um, so hopefully it powers up in the next 10 seconds so I can show you if you don't have an AT&T SIM card I'm going to put a video up right now to show you how to activate search it alright so you're going to see this and your iPhone is done from the restore now you just need to put your AT&T SIM card in it, unplug uh, your USB cable, and then plug it back in to your iPhone. And it'll activate. That's it. You're on 3.1.2 or 3.1.3. Thanks for watching this. Please comment, rate, subscribe. You can comment, be like, thanks, it worked, or oh no, I, didn't, I don't know what to do at this part, whatever. Uh, you want to comment, uh, please click the like button and it would mean a lot to me, help the video rating go up. Alright, thanks.